Did you know these three secrets in the lodge in New Atlantis? Number one, the free and very high stat armor set that you can get even at the beginning of the game. Within the lodge at the entrance, go to your right and make your way down the stairs into the basement. Follow where I go into one of the back rooms, and from here, you will see a spacesuit inside a locked glass display. Now this armor set is locked behind a master tier lock. This normally requires tier 3 in the security perk to even attempt to unlock it as a master lock. Well, lucky for us, there's a bypass to this so you can get it for free without even unlocking it, but maybe this will get patched and fixed, so maybe it won't work in the future. If you do want to grab it, go into first person mode and slowly pan your camera between the two panels of glass until you can actually reach the mannequin inside and snatch the armor. It will take a couple of tries, but you'll get it after a few. Doing this will give you the Mark 1 spacesuit, pack, and helmet. These pieces are particularly good early on in the game due to their very high stat resistances, which are actually higher than other legendary gear but just without the perks. It's definitely worth grabbing for yourself early game or to equip to your companion. Also, this technique will work on other locked glass cases too, so keep that in mind. Number 2, the infinite storage container. Once again, in the basement area of the lodge, just head to your right and down the stairs, and you will find a single storage crate amongst all the crafting stations, but this one is special. There is no mass limit to this storage crate, which means you can use it as your own personal storage dump for anything and everything. It's particularly good to keep massive stacks of resources inside that weigh a lot, or just your extra items, gear, and weapons that you don't want to sell yet, because they take up valuable space in your inventory or cargo. So if you're struggling for cargo space, go and dump everything in here and you're good to go out adventuring again. Also, because you can use the store all or take all resource button, you can use this as your own personal crafting and modding area. Just take out all the resources from the box, do whatever crafting and modding that you need, and then put them all back inside with just one button press. Remember the lodge is an instant fast travel location once you've been here before, so you can easily fast travel to the lodge, go inside, and get to this area super quickly without too much trouble. So it's a great place to drop off your resources or loot that you don't have space for in your bag or spaceship. Number 3, your own personal room and an extra fun fact. Within the lodge, of course, you have your own personal room. This is found in the back left of the upstairs area, just make your way up the stairs and head on over there. But once inside, you may have seen that you have a bed. But did you know that sleeping in your bed, and this doesn't apply to just the lodge, will actually give you a buff? Just by sleeping even one hour in the bed will grant you an in-game 24-hour well-rested buff. This gives you a 10% extra XP bonus. So every time you come back to the lodge, which is pretty often, to store your resources, craft, or do questing, you should always go to your room and sleep in the bed for just one hour and refresh that extra XP buff since there's literally no downside to doing this. Now for a fun fact, at the back of the lodge on the ground floor just by going forwards, you will notice a very nice model of a boat. Well, this is actually a reference to Jacques Cousteau, a famous naval officer, oceanographer, filmmaker, and author. Basically, this ship belongs to a famous explorer, hence it being in a prominent place in Constellation, the headquarters of our group of explorers for all to see, so a little fun fact for you there. If you know any other secrets that you want to share, hook us up in the comments so we can all learn together. And check out these two videos on the screen. We have loads of Starfield guides and videos on the channel that you shouldn't miss out on. So check these two out or go on the channel and then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.